Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be things I'm loving for the summer. Okay. Half of us are not ready for it, but it's here, it has arrived. There's a bunch of things here that I've collected that are recent purchases, and some of them are things that are just really great for the summer weather. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is a makeup item, and it's the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer. This is a very thick concealer-like product. However, the reason I love it is because it does so good at covering hyperpigmentation, which we tend to get in the summer. Well, at least I do. Any breakout that I get, any sunspot that I get, it comes and disrespects me in the summer. And this stuff covers just about anything, but it still leaves a really nice, fresh, dewy look to the skin. I recommend really using a tiny amount because it is super high coverage and a little goes a long way. But also this is really great for the hollows of the under eyes. So if you're somebody who has a really Really deep hollow patting it into the hollow area before your normal concealer works so great covering pigmentation above the lip under the lip all of that this get yourself some camera quan how am I gonna do a things I'm loving for the summer video without summer Fridays this is the jet lag mask this is honestly just such a great mask for your whole face but mostly for me my under eyes this is so hydrating and it's one of the only masks that I'm aware of that allows you to layer it on your under eyes so if you're somebody who has drier skin this is gonna be so great for you if you travel a lot if you're on the plane you want to like just lay this on while you're on the flight it's so great for your summer vacations and just maybe if you've been in the Sun all day and you know your skin kind of feels tight and just like summer Fridays. This was their first launch and honestly still to this day my favorite. I've been through so many tubes and it's just always gonna be iconic to me. Classic. Good for every skin type in my opinion. We're moving quickly guys. All right, so next I wanna go into accessories. Now I found three bags that I feel are so cute for the summer, versatile, different occasions just cute and fun. I feel like summer is a time where we can be a little bit more bright and colorful and playful with our outfits and our accessories. Hold please. The first bag is definitely a statement, something that people will see you wearing and be like, oh, that is so cute. Oh my God, that is so interesting. And especially in the sunlight, like this bag glistens so beautifully. And I just think it's such a cute statement and you can wear it with anything. Inside it has an acrylic container. So when you put all your things in there, you don't have to worry about them falling through the cracks. And it's nice because it keeps its box-like shape. This bag is actually from Miss Lola. The little bags are in, they're so hot right now. So the next bag is from Zara. And Zara has some hot shit right now, okay? I just went and I bought like really cute shoes and like loungewear and just a bunch of stuff from Zara, but this was one of my purchases. And I think it's such a cute bag, kind of in between a pink and a salmon shade. It's just like right in the middle there. And it has these like beautiful baby blue flowers. This really makes it feel super summery, these little handles. I feel like you could really wear this bag with anything. It just makes enough of a statement and it definitely pops and makes your outfit a lot cuter. Like I feel like I'm wearing a plain baby blue spaghetti strap right now, but if I were to be carrying this purse, I'd kind of be like, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. What I also really love about this bag is it has a long gold chain if you wanna wear it on your shoulder. You don't wanna carry it, because I know sometimes that can be annoying. So you can kind of pair it with anything day or night. Lastly, we have this beautiful beach slash pool bag. Really, it's just a bigger little satchel, if you will. And I also got this at Zara, but I love these little tassels that hang from the sides. I wore this when I went to Cabo and I just thought it was the cutest bag. It has such beautiful details and they're so simple. And I also feel like the colors are nice. It'll match anything you wear. I had my sunscreen in here, my extra flip flops. Like it's a pretty, Spacey. The only thing I will say is that it is a knit material and it doesn't have a lining. So I lost my eyebrow pencil in here. That's the only thing I will say. If you do want to keep makeup and all that stuff, like little things, I would keep them in a makeup bag in here. More, most people I'm sure do that, but I didn't. I just threw my eyebrow pencil in here just in case something happened in the pool. I lost a brow. However, it's still so cute. I got a ton of compliments and yeah, I just really love this bag. So I'll insert the picture here of when I wore it and you guys could see how cute it was. It's just such a nice throw on bag for pools, beach, you know, whatever you're doing. I don't know, I don't know your life. 
since we're like in the accessories realm, <clears throat> shameless plug, how cute are these sunglasses? Like, wouldn't you just see somebody wearing these sunglasses and be like, if you want to be that bitch for the summer, these are the sunglasses, okay? These are my new high-key rimless sunglasses. And I particularly love this blue shade, especially right now, because I feel like it's just kind of popping. It has this really beautiful, unique fade, and I love it. And it comes in three different colors. So we had the blue there. Then we have the lilac, which kind of also is just really matching with my backdrop right now. This is weird. I don't know how this happened. This wasn't planned. Like you see the boy walking by that you're kind of into and you're just kind of like, actually you don't even look at him, right? Like he can't even see you. Like you're too cool, you're busy, you don't have time to look at him. That's when he's really gonna notice you because that's how they do us. And then we of course have a classic. This is the black fade. These are like money. You go up a tax bracket when you put these on. It's just weird, I don't know how that happens. These for me are gonna be it for the summer, okay? Now we're gonna move on to some clothing pieces that I just found to be so cute for the summer. Starting with the dress that I wore in my kitchen tour video. This dress right over here, it just seems like the perfect thing to wear to a barbecue, to really any occasion you have a family gathering wear this dress. What I really love about it is that it shapes your body really nice. It has a really great fit. It has a nice stretch on the sides. There's like a stretchy panel on each side of the dress. This is from Windsor and it has a really pretty ruffle detail. I just think it's fun. It's flirty. It screams summer. I will also insert a clip of me wearing this in my video if you didn't watch it. Or maybe I shouldn't to punish you. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. This is something that I tried on earlier today and I was like, this has to be in my video. And I'm gonna insert a video of me wearing this because it's kind of hard to hold both of these pieces up. However, this two piece matching set, which is something I'm a really big fan of because I hate the feeling of having a really cute top and then being like, damn, what do I wear this with? And then you're throwing things in the closet. Next thing you know, it looks like Tasmanian double went through your shit. And you're just trying things on, taking them off, trying them on. But with matching sets, it makes your life so much easier because it's like, this is what goes with this. This is my ho phone. This is my, my trap phone is going up. <laughs> matching sets just make my life easier, whether that's sweatsuits, whether that's cute play suits or this pants, uh, this pant situation. So these are like a high waisted thick waistband, which is key. Thick waistbands are way more flattering and comfortable than those thin waistbands. This is from Miss Lola, by the way. Affordable, which I love. It has a matching top that ties in the front and then it also has those pleated sleeves that go off the shoulder which I think are so cute. And this is also one of those outfits that's gonna come through for you this summer. One of those things you can wear to pretty much anything. I feel like it's more of a daytime outfit for sure. I probably wouldn't wear this at night just because of the print. But like I said, you're going on a family vacation. You're going on a vacation with your friends. You have an outing somewhere, whatever it is, daytime. That's my recommendation. I would wear this outfit because I think it's so cute. Probably gonna wear it this weekend. I'm actually going to a wedding, which leads me into my final, and this is like my splurge. The first two were like affordable. This is definitely worth the splurge, okay? This is from House of CB, and if you guys don't know, House of CB is just this beautiful store that has some of the best fitting dresses I've ever tried in my life. Like the way they cut their clothing is incredible. I'm wearing this dress this weekend. I haven't worn it, but I tried it on and it really made me feel so confident and hugged me in all the right places. And it almost made me feel like, whose body is this? Like, not that I don't love my body, but it like shaped it in such a different way that was so flattering that I was like, oh my God, is that my butt? I said, is that my butt? Even Steven was like, I said, mm, I've been eating a lot of, you know, in and out. And it's really hard to show you here. Again, I will insert the photo, but this is the dress. It's definitely a dress that you have to see on to be like, dang, because right now it kind of just looks like a butt. Like, I don't know what it looks like right now, but it's not, like I'm not doing it justice. It is the most beautiful off the shoulder dress. It has this really great ruching on the side. So if there's something that you're trying to like hide or you wanna, you know, accentuate, it almost does all of those things in one. My mom was like, I should get that dress for the wedding. And I was like, yes, this is a magic dress, you guys. Anyways, I'm wearing it to a wedding this weekend and I'm really excited because I felt so special in it. This is gonna be your special occasion dress. 
um, if you like it, but I will promise you that the fit is just like phenomenal. If you have a wedding, if you're, you know, strategically planning on running into an ex-boyfriend, if you have, you know, like a family reunion, like it's just a very beautiful, classy dress. So we have two more things on my summer list. This is kind of a weird item to be in my video, but I truly feel like y'all are gonna be some clumsy bitches this summer just like me. So, let me show you guys this bottle of Folex. This has like really saved my life on many occasions now. If you guys watch my IG stories, you know Cannoli took a fat shit on my new white couch the day after it was delivered. Not only did she poop on my couch, but she pooped and then she smeared. It's almost like she was like, oh wait, there's something stuck. Let me just drag my ass across the couch. I came outside and I started panicking. Thankfully, I had Linda here. Linda is somebody who's like a professional organizer and she was like, oh my God, you guys haven't heard of Folex? Let me show you. She helped me clean and get rid of everything and this is just been a lifesaver ever since. If you spill wine on your shirt, if you spill wine on your couch, if you get your sneakers dirty this summer because I don't know what you're doing, but I'm just saying it happens. This stuff has removed everything ever since, like any carpet stain, any food stain, you guys are having barbecues, you're afraid of people sitting on your couch. I know people like to come over with like their body bronzers and sit on your couch. Mm. <laughs> Folex, y'all. It says that it gets rid of pet accidents, which, check. Grease, ink, red wine, I've tested that, check. Coffee, blood, so you know, as a woman, sometimes things happen and this gets it out, I'm just saying. Rust, food, cosmetics, Makeup, ever heard of it? We all know it gets all over our stuff too. That's all I gotta say about that. Next up, we have this chingadera. This is from Glamcore and it is such a great light. If you're trying to do tutorials at home, if you are somebody that is a makeup enthusiast or maybe you just really want bomb selfies, this is a contraption here that you put your phone in. It holds your phone either vertical or horizontal, you could move this. And these two lights are the most incredible lights that you can switch between cool, warm, whatever you want. You can make them brighter, dimmer. It just hits you in the face in the best possible way. I wish I had this when I first started doing Instagram because I had no idea how to get the right lighting for makeup. I just was struggling so hard to get the right picture. And honestly, ever since I started using this, I feel like my, uh, my makeup looks better, my pictures look better, and it's just so easy easy for me to do IG stories. And I know obviously a lot of you aren't trying to do IG stories or take makeup pictures. Maybe that's not what you're into, but I know a lot of you are into that. This has just made my life so much easier and I've been loving it. I'm gonna be using this all summer 19 to take all my makeup photos, to do all my IG stories and it's just changed the game for me. So I really wanted to share it with you guys because it is just popping, okay? Let me give you a scenario. You're going somewhere for the summer. You still need to get ready. You still wanna be cute. Maybe your grandparents or like your friends, whoever you're gonna go see, maybe they don't have good lighting in their house. And like, you still have to do your makeup. I travel with this now and I'm just like, shoo, shoo, shoo. Boom. I don't know if you guys are like FaceTiming people that you're kind of like dating, talking to, long distance relationship. I don't know. I'm just saying that if you want to prop your phone up there and be on FaceTime like, oh, I'm just, I just woke up. This is so weird. Like, and then you have this bomb ass lighting. I just think it's such a great item and I'm, and I'm loving it. So that's all I'm going to say. Moving on. Lastly, I have two palettes to share with you guys. One is one that's been around for a minute and the other one is fairly new and it's fairly new to me. However, I used it the other day and I just thought, wow, I have not been this blown away by how well eyeshadows blend, the pigment, and just, I was like, this is too easy. For that reason, I'm gonna add this Rustic Glam Dominique Cosmetics palette to my summer faves. This is what the palette looks like. I know a lot of you, maybe you won't use these tones. Obviously, I live more over here in this realm, but when I tell you that these matte shades were the most easily blended eyeshadows I've used in a really, really long time, these are so, so stunning. I just feel like this is a palette I'm gonna use all summer. If 4th of July comes around, maybe I'm gonna hit up this blue, I don't know. These mattes, oh. I'll, honestly, these will be empty really soon. This one is gonna be like every day in my crease, all summer 19 right here. Fringe, mm, 
it just is so beautiful. They blew me away. I know they're colors that you've seen before, especially the mattes, but the texture and the quality is really great. And then this is a palette that has been around for a minute. I've been using it for all my standout looks. And a lot of people have been asking, what's on your eyes? And it has been this Pat McGrath Mothership number no. five. Mostly I use these shades over here and these on camera don't look like anything, but they're actually the most reflective, beautiful, sparkly eyeshadows ever. And they have different undertones. So for example, this one has more of like a yellow green reflect undertone. And then there's this color right here, which I have used to death. This is such a beautiful shade for the lid if you want that like wet, glistening eyelid. Sometimes I'll use it wet and then sometimes I'll just use my finger and tap the reflex on top of a shadow. It has more of like a pink undertone. And of course this bronze is like the most beautiful bronze. Every time without a doubt that I have worn these reflex on top of my eyes, you guys have asked what it was. And I just feel like for any summer occasion, night out, this is gonna be a hitter for me. Okay. And that is it. So obviously there's a lot of things that I'm gonna be loving this summer, but these are just the newer items that I was like, wow, these are perfect. I'm gonna be wearing them through the whole summer or they're just great for every occasion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Today's video is gonna be, ah! The hand, the baby hand. Ow.